friends, we're back with some more partial quotients. So let's kind of review. You've been working on this for a few days now with your teacher. You've probably worked your way up to three or maybe even more digits. So let's do a quick review. You focus on one digit at a time. In this case, the first one being a number six. I can think to myself, how many threes fit in six? Three, six. Two groups of three. Three times two is six. Add my two zeros, can't forget those, because I don't want to just take away six when I could take away 600. If I take away 200 groups of three, 600, I'm left with 39. And then I start all over again. I look at just the number in the front, which is a three. I know that three goes into three one time, that's easy. And why not add a zero to get rid of more? That way I'm not getting rid of one group of three, I'm getting rid of 10 groups of three. I can subtract 30. Then I'm left with nine and it starts all over. There actually is just one number left, so I don't really have to cover anything. How many threes fit in nine? Three, six, nine, three groups of three. Three times three is nine. I got rid of the whole thing. You probably noticed by now that it always seems to work out really well that we get rid of the whole number. You can see at the end we're left with zero. However, that won't always happen. It won't always be so pretty. So you can see that I changed this number just by one digit. I went from a dividend of 639 to a dividend of 634. So I only changed it by five. Just the ones placed is slightly different. Um, the steps up to that will be pretty similar. I'm still going to get rid of the six first. I know I shouldn't say six it's 600, I'm just calling it a six for now. How many groups of three fit in six? And I wanna show you a trick if this part stumps you. I can easily draw six dots and circle, those are hard to see, and circle groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. How many groups of three are there? Here's one group. Here's two groups, two groups of three. But I don't wanna just subtract six, remember, because that would take a really long time if I subtracted six that many times. I know that this is a six with two numbers after it, 600, so I'm gonna add two zeros. That way I cannot take away six, I can take away 600. It should be sounding familiar, so far it's the same. After I subtract 600, I'm left with 39, or sorry, 34, forgot I changed it. And then once again, I'm gonna look just at this first number. Now I know this isn't a three, but I'm gonna pretend that it is. If you wanna do your dots off to the side, do it. If I have three, and I'm putting them in groups of three, I only have one group. Since this was not a three, it was a 30, there's one digit after, I'm gonna add one zero. That way I can subtract 30. After I've taken away 10 groups of three or 30, what's left is four. Okay, here's where it gets a little funny. Remember last time we were left with nine and easily three fits into nine with three equal groups. However, this time I only have four left. I'm gonna draw those. And I'm still working with a divisor of three. So I'm gonna to try to put this into equal groups of three. One, two, three. Uh-oh. I can't make another group of three. So here's what happens. I can make one group of three. So I'm gonna take that out. Three times one is three, so I'm only taking away three. And just like my picture, I have this guy kind of left out. I have one that's left out. I can't make any more groups of three. So here's what happens. I still add up all my numbers on the side, just like normal. 200 plus 10 plus one is 211. But I can't just forget about this guy down here. Just like my picture, there's one left out. And in my math, there's one left out as well. So here's what we do with it. We bring it back up to the top and we call it a remainder. The abbreviation for that is just the letter R. So 
So it's 211 with the remainder of 1. That means if I have 634, I keep saying bananas, I don't know what it is with bananas, and I try to split them into three equal groups, I can make 211 equal groups. However, 1 is going to be left out. 1 will still remain, and I cannot put that in a group of 3. The only trick there is to a remainder is that your remainder cannot be bigger than your divisor. For example, if you had a remainder of four, four is bigger than three, which means you could have fit at least one more group in there. So make sure your remainder is smaller than your divisor. You guys are gonna practice some partial quotient with remainders, good luck.